Okay, love. I just hit a raccoon. Say that again? I just hit a raccoon. Oh no. Yeah, and it like damaged my car. Son of a monkey. I know. I'm like so pissed. They're big animals. What did it do? Like the, the, the front fender thing down there? Yeah. It's like split wide open. Dented like <sighs> I'm, I'm filing it through insurance. This is ridiculous. I've never had more damage done to a brand new car before. <laughs> like ridiculous. Right? Yeah. Well. I'm filing a claim. Like, I'm filing well, a claim. Well, let's look at it. I mean, Jason, there's no repairing this ourselves. No, 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 no. But maybe deductible and stuff. It will just be... It's like, not. I will send you a picture. It's not dodging a bullet. No, uh, not, it's not dodging a bullet. It's just the deductible. The deductible filing the claim, and then there's a deductible that, uh, you know, let's just look at it. I promise we'll fix it. We'll fix it. In fact, driving home, I was wondering if you wanted to fix it. Oh, well, Peter, I can... It's just been a day. Everything's fine. All right, I'll talk to you later. I'll send you a photo. Okay, love. Sorry. I just can't. Like, seriously, I'll show you the damage in here in a second. I didn't film today. I should have. It's been a really eventful day. Um, I just, I thought I was going to be able to escape with the day not ending like this. So let me show you the damage to my wonderful car. This brand new. All right, there's the damage. I'm so pissed. There's even like hair in there. I thought there'd be blood, but I didn't think there'd actually be damage. I'm so ticked off. Like, I don't want this. Let me show you the front of the car, like where it is. You can see it. You can see it clear back here. You can see that little like Dent. I'm beyond mad. Driving back down the street so that I can see if I can find the raccoon as proof for my insurance. I don't know if the car like turned on the camera. So I need to prove this to insurance. Maybe. I don't know if I have to. I didn't with my deer when I hit my deer years ago. I don't know where it is. You'd think it'd be right here in the road somewhere. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find it. I don't know where I was now. Well, I have bad news, but you have good news. What's your bad news? Not the bad news before the good yeah, news? Yeah. I hit a raccoon. My car is broken in the front. Wait, can I see it? Yeah, go look. I know, it's, I know, I, it just, it was in front of my car. There was like literally no time to swerve. Oh, the whole thing has to get there. This whole thing has to get replaced. There's a bee. Yeah, the whole thing, cause look underneath there. There's the, it's all broken apart. I know, it's fantastic. So. What's the good news? I'm flying for every competition. You're flying for every competition? High five. For one part, for one part of the dance, cause there's this little tiny person and she can't chuck enough because you have to chuck someone's leg. Yeah. And then she put me in because I... You can, because you're yeah. strong. Well, no, it's just because I'm taller and I can extend it. Yeah. Well, cool. Are you excited? Intimidated? Because this isn't our competition like next week. It's in like two weeks. Th two or three weeks, yeah. Three weeks or so. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's go home. Yeah. I need to show Dad the car. Well... Something to look forward Something to. We to got look, some footage. I have footage for you guys. So we're going to go in and import it. Uh, we, You get to see the entire thing play out. You get to see the raccoon go across the road, come back, cross the road. And you get to see him come from the back of my car and walk away. Unscathed. Probably hit. I mean, he's hurt. I bet you he dies. Hi. I'm Dana. And I like to do brand new Teslas. <laughs> well, to be fair, you weren't in the car when... The first accident happened. Uh, yeah, I know. 
And I guess you weren't driving. None of them are my fault. Bloody. <laughs> well, I wasn't driving maybe. when the when the rock chip happened. I wasn't driving when the other well, one sideswiped. Maybe, maybe I'm not the raccoon. One, you could have tried to brake faster, I guess. <laughs> are you <laughs> kidding me? They come out they come out fast. I hit a gigantic badger. I know, I was telling Ashley about yeah, that. That thing was like bump bump bump. That was at a Honda Accord. No, that was your mom's Impala. Open glove box. No, it wasn't. It was the Honda Accord when we were driving across country, like either the 4th of July or... Oh, it was before kids. Yeah, yeah, it was before, before kids. kids. It tore, it tore out the entire tire well, tire well liner. Yeah, we hit like a gigantic badger, badger or, you know, Wolverine or something. I remember that. All right. kind of like moving. I know. All right. So Abby's friends from church stopped by and gave her this cute blanket. That'd be so nice. And then this Starbucks cup. Super cute. Oh, it's like Seattle. Yeah. And then these little Rice Krispie treats. Super cute. That's very nice. And uh, muscle drinks. Muscle, what are they called? Oh, high protein. High protein, high protein yeah, drinks. Exactly. Sorry. I don't yeah. want to show Abby. NRT She's right here. Mus like, mm. I can say muscle, muscle milk. That's what it's oh, called. Muscle milk. Yeah, it's just high protein, high yeah. Yeah. vitamins. Okay, yep. now to put this footage in. Hi, Erica. My name is Dana Brown, and I am just calling to talk to him about an accident I had yesterday with a raccoon. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah. Okay. All right. And are you a current customer? Yes, I am. Okay. Let me get you pulled up here. Hi. It's the next morning. We all had a rough night last night. Tensions were high with the kids because I was stressed and trying to, like, excuse myself to my room here um, and go through the footage and make sure if I needed the proof of the accident for my insurance that I had it all ready to go when I made the call this morning. I had a kid who was tired from cheer and hadn't done homework and so it was probably midnight before we got her in bed. This was a rough night. So Jason and I just had to make a decision. I have to get an estimate done on the car. Um, our deductible is $1,000. So if the claim, if the uh, estimate is less than a thousand dollars, we're just gonna pay, pay it ourselves and get the car fixed. If it's over a thousand, depending on how much over, I mean, given the repair on the side of my car <laughs> that I haven't even fixed yet, I'll just be honest. It's only like it's eighteen hundred, fifteen hundred. No, it's fifteen hundred, and that's just like one panel that they're gonna fix. So this is the whole front panel. So I think it's. I don't know if it's a bigger panel, but then there's also the under cage panel, the plastic one that has to get repaired or re or fixed or replaced. So we have to just make a decision. I don't know what to do. I don't have a chance to take the car in um, to get an estimate on it until we, after this surgery for Abby. Um, I will have access to my Honda Pilot um, while Abby is out recovering, which is a good thing and we are thinking about getting um, the other repair done on my Tesla um, if they have something available in the next couple weeks. It would be wonderful if they could do it at the same time. If we just, if we paid out of pocket and had both repairs done, I think that would be the easiest, quickest, less um, invasive on our time solution, but I have to get it in for the estimate appointment. And I just don't feel like I want to go down there by myself to do it and Jason and I can't be away from Abby. It's a good two hour wait time for the estimates to get done while you're sitting there at the Tesla station. So, I mean, I could make an appointment. I guarantee you, I could make an appointment on my app. This is how you do it. If you are new to Tesla or if you're curious about Tesla, I literally would go on my app. You wanna see my, oops, cancel, my cute little Tesla right there, she's cute. Make sure there's no information on there that you guys don't need to have. 
She's pretty cute. Shows me that she is plugged in at 80%. My current interior temperature is, oh, the insurance company is calling me back. Hang on. Hello? Use your comprehensive coverage for this. Oh. And that is a $250 deductible. But when you file the claim, you just need to tell them you were hit by a raccoon. Hit by a raccoon, which I was. <laughs> I didn't hit yeah. the raccoon. The <laughs> raccoon hit me. Exactly. <laughs> I'll, I'll play whatever game you want, right? Like, um, okay. So, so yeah, you just want to make sure you file it that way, but it's $250 deductible and that won't count against you. Not count. Okay. Let me make sure I, when I call back, if I, you know, if we choose this, sounds like it's the easier one to do anyway. Comprehensive, mm -hmm. um, and that I was hit by a raccoon and it mm -hmm. will not count against me, and it's a $250 mm -hmm. deductible. Yeah. Okay, perfect. I will talk to my husband, and we'll, we'll likely go with that, but I'll get the estimate so we know exactly when we're going to go and put it through anyway. They, Tesla likes to know that the insurance is um, established and in place with the claim mm -hmm. in order for them mm -hmm. to make the appointment to get it fixed. So, mm, got it. you know okay. what I mean? So, like, I'll go to that point, mm -hmm. get the appointment in the next couple weeks, and then we'll put the claim through here in a few days. Okay. Perfect. All right. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. Let us know if you need anything else. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well, that just changed. She literally, obviously, I hadn't done some research. So instead of running it through as a collision, I didn't have an accident. She said it would count as an, I hadn't even explained all this to you. Before, it's, I have a $1,000 deductible but it would be a collision. It would be reported on as a claim, as an accident, which would increase my premiums. And she couldn't give me an estimate of what my premiums will go up to in January. That's fantastic because my renewal period ends in January. Of course, of course. I wouldn't have like six months to like have my current wonderful accident-free premium. No. And I'm ducking down because you are on my Stanley Cup and I don't have anything higher at this point and I don't care to fix it because I need to eat my hot oatmeal. I'm starving. This changes it. What she's telling me is, and you heard her, run it through as a comprehensive insurance and that I was hit by the raccoon, which I have the footage. The, the, the raccoon came into my road. He hit me. <laughs> That I, that I was hit by a raccoon and it won't count against me, against my premium or as a claim, it's only $250 from our deductible. So like before, if we were gonna have them cover it, we were gonna have to cover $1,000 no matter what. And I, it's not, the damage is not under $1,000. I guarantee you the estimate is not gonna be under 1,000. So we were gonna be out $1,000 no matter what. This is amazing news. This is good news. I like this. So now I'm gonna call Jason and let him know the new good news because we're both kind of stressed about it. This way I can put in the request for the estimate to get done in the next couple weeks. If he is home on a day, I might actually just go over there myself. We, we, we know the location quite well these days. <laughs> so I might just do it myself, put on my big girl panties and go over there myself. And it's just not in a great area in Seattle. The Tesla station itself is fine once you're inside. It's just, I don't like the area. It's in the industrial side over on the port side. And I just don't like going over there, but I will. Because this is a great solution to get it fixed quickly um, and for the cheapest possible. This is like an excellent solution. So I'm going to end this with you guys today because I have other stuff going on. I have like, as someone said in the comments the other day, so many balls in the air. Let me just give you a little taste. I'm, I'm days away from Abby's surgery. We had her uh, virtual consult with her surgeon yesterday, which scheduling he didn't show up for for the first hour that we waited on the virtual call. Had to reschedule five hours later. Um, had that consult appointment with him. Got some amazing like digital designs of what Abby's face is going to look like absolutely incredible. I've already emailed it to my dad because my dad is fascinated by that. So that was yesterday. Meanwhile, I um, and me and Ashley packaged up all 200 bags of candy. You'll see all this in another video. Just giving you a little taste of what my day was like yesterday and today. 
I, st I cleaned, I started cleaning and I started going through all of my Christmas decorations. I have a whole added stock of donated Christmas um, ornaments and, and supplies and decorations that I'm donating. Um, and I'm starting to decorate all my Christmas trays and I've cleaned the kitchen and moved everything out of the way and reorganized drawers and like it's only 10 a.m. 11 a.m. A lot of balls in the air and Abby's surgery is just to be a little vague days away. It's a lot. She goes for a COVID test tonight. She gets her surgical wires put on today in an hour. Stay tuned because if any more of these balls drop I I can't. I don't even know what we're gonna do if there's a positive result on her test results tonight. Good news about the car. That's all we can handle with this video with you guys today. Stay tuned because as of right now for you guys, all the balls are in the air. So if you wanna see what ones drop next or if I catch them all, stay tuned and we will see you guys next time. Wish my little Tessie like luck. Man, I have never prayed for a car before, but man, She's been sideswiped, dinged in the windshield, and now hit by a raccoon in six months. I've owned this car less than six months, and none of it is my fault. Pray for Tessie 2.0. As you saw her, as you saw, look, I literally, look, Tessie 2.0, because she's their second one. She's a beaut, but she's broken, and I need to get her fixed, because she really looks stupid right now. So take care. See you guys next time. Good night. Goodbye. It's days. <laughs> I haven't even started my day. Bye guys.